Okay, we've arrived at the first site for a bit of drone work, and, uh, yeah, my car's gonna be safe here, right? Yay! Hey up, peeps, Moobit here with another Filmic Fridays kind of thing and unfortunately my gimbal decided it did, wasn't charged so you're going handheld. Sorry! Um, yeah, this is a, a good one today. I'm on location doing some b-roll for our Hymns of Aberice film. Uh, spent uh, yesterday in some woods up near York doing some on location stuff. M much to my own joking uh, annoyance because uh, I, I live in the middle of Shield Forest. I mean, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, Alex. <laughs> um, but uh, this place is owned by the same Forestry Commission that owned the other place and so all the paths and everything match up. I mean, the fake paths of things. We did a chase scene along a path just like this. Um, all the trees are exactly the same. So I've been coming down with new Betsy down here. Uh, that's my drone, not my penis. And yeah, we're uh, doing some B-roll for to cut around, because what you do in films is you do the A-roll, which is like the actors and things like that. And then second unit, or in this case, me, <laughs> does uh, B-roll to cut around, you know, because maybe, maybe a shot didn't quite work out and you need to overlay some some random bits of forest or whatever or an establishing shot for the beginning of the film so I've been going around here I mean this this these woods go on for miles and miles and miles with lots of little little medieval looking paths and things and this isn't even the Shore Forest Visitor Centre for those who know the Nottingham area this is actually near Newstead Village if you uh, look it up which is still Shield Forest as was Obviously these days a lot of it's been cut down to make way for the towns that now exist, but it's all part of the same thing. It's all the same trees, everything. But as well as we're in the forest, we're doing some establishing shots because around here we've got some um, 16th century like little chapels. There's one just here, just there. Um, I've already done that one. Got some establishings of that. And then uh, we've, got, uh, we've got another one literally around the corner that's on top of a cliff. Um, now, there are houses nearby that, so I'm, I'm gonna do a health and safety check to make sure I'm the right distance away from the houses. So I'm only using the small drone anyway, so it's not too bad, but obviously the uh, the drone code for you, or, or aren't pro pilots, or you know the PIFCO code, if you will, for me, do still apply, so. Um, but I do remember it being quite spectacular, and the one on the cliff, it's got farmer's fields nearby, and I know the people own the fields, so I can take off from there, go really low, like skimming the grass along the fields, come up the cliff, revealing the church at the top of the cliff, and then behind the church is this forest. So it'll work well in perfectly. And then the film starts with a chase scene through a forest. So like you can have that shot, you're establishing there's a you know an old church and everything, and there's these like religious cell that's chasing someone through a forest. It'd be perfect, but it's my issue is there's, like I say, there's a couple of terraced houses nearby because it's actually the site of an old mine. Thanks, Maggie Thatcher. Um, and uh, obviously we don't want those in the shot um, and we don't want to be near them either. So I've got to see if we can get a shot with a tight enough lens that it doesn't pick up the, the houses nearby and it just looks like a church just in the middle of nowhere. So why don't you come with me, eh? Okay, we're at the first uh, location, guys. Um, lovely little chapel near Newstead, as you can see here. Whee! Lovely farmer's fields behind. And then we go all the way around, and there's a huge forest that goes on for miles. And obviously, if we time the drone shot, we won't have any cars going past. Because it's just an access road to a village here, so it's not too bad. But it's rather nice. This is the kind of thing we get up to, YouTube viewers. Um, 
scoping the places out, uh, seeing if they fit with the brief, and uh, yeah, doing some basic shots to see if it'll work. I'm liking the farm's fields over there, though. That that looks like looks like cutting medieval there. Right, let's send the drone up and see what it looks like from above. I like the irony. No fly tipping. Is that like the ultimate fly tip? I think it might be. And directly across from that car park, you got the one of the entrances into those big woods you saw on the drone footage. Um, so I can do plenty of B-roll for you along here. Horse, as you can see, precedent is set for horses. Um, but I'll give you a little tour and it's all very beautiful around here, as you can tell. Lots of little side paths going off. Right, for reference, my car's about four trees that way. Path comes around, comes around here. Newstead Abbey, where that waterfall is, is just over the side of that black um, tree. The town of Hucknall with Costa and all the high street shops and everything is two minutes that way. That path goes on for about two miles into the forest that you saw in the drone shot. And then there's plenty of these offshoot paths that look like medieval uh, roads and stuff. Okay, location three is that church there. I um, think initial thoughts is it's not going to be the best because if you can just hear the distance just there. Now, normally, if you get a train from Worksop or Mansfield into Nottingham this way, you see this church, and because you're higher up, you don't see any of this stuff here. Um, from the train, it looks like it's just a uh, uh, farmer's field which is the other side of these houses but some new houses here I didn't even see it's like farmer's fields are wheels to train and then along here which is still doable from a drone shot perspective but I'd have to go and knock on every single door in between could CG out these we could maybe do it from here the other thing as well is when you go past in the winter all these trees are gone and behind here is just a sheer hill going straight up but, which I'm going to explore now. I don't think this is going to be doable. The chapel from there facing this way would be perfect. Because from up that hill, angle your camera right, you couldn't possibly... You couldn't possibly uh, see those houses back there. So, it might be good from a front location point of view. But I wouldn't want to fly my drone from the front because there's actually a housing estate. The other side of the church over there. Um... Which is just extra paperwork, of course. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and here's the reverse angle of that church. There's the chapel part. I was over the hill down there. Um, and here's the church part up here. Uh, probably couldn't use... Well, we could use this as an approach. Because you could just spread some leaves on the floor to cover the cut the tarmac. Okay. Quite a long road driveway, as you can see. <laughs> uh, Junction 27 is just around the corner there. Uh, so we've got paths going into the woods there, paths going into the woods there, and it's changed up so I can't go inside. But uh, when was this built? Is there anything on here? Honestly, through the ages, here we go. 1874, there you go. Probably a bit late for us if we're doing 16th century. And these woods, they're past their best now, but these woods are known as bluebell woods for obvious reasons. Um, absolutely beautiful. The whole, the whole canopy floor is covered in bluebells. Just like a ridiculous amount. But they've also dying out now. There's some there, look, um, that are still hanging on. Side angle. That's the entrance to the church, so it does age it a bit. And this side isn't covered with uh, plastic. There's there's metal on the metal mesh on the uh, windows, which there's your gate. I mean, that mesh should probably work because I mean they would have had blacksmiths and things. They've got swords, so you know. But that is New Annesley Church. On to the next location. Ooh, yeah. Slightly overgrown. Believe it or not, there's a there's a massive river here. Um <laughs> Hoping it opens out in a bit. You get an idea. Lots of gnarly trees you can uh, film at. Oh, there you are, there's a the river. Yoink. Move it here on Hidden Trail at um, Papplewick, which is just on the north northwest side of Nottingham. And I've gone down the Hidden Trail a bit with the rivers and things you've seen quite a few times, but I didn't even know there was a church back here. And this looks like the only way to get to it, and it is Gothic AF. All right, camera angles hide. There's two brand new ish. Um, Gravestones over there. Oh look at that! Just, just it. Right on cue, there's a rook landed on the thing. <laughs> or oh, crow. Anyway, from my angle there, looking this way, you can hide those new ones quite easily. You got a massive tree here. I mean, check out. Look, it's like it's... this would be absolutely perfect. You've got all these ancient things. 1829. And so on. I just don't know what. Uh, whoops! I mean, that doorway is amazing. It's called the Church of Saint James. Turns out my mobile phone gimbal's broken, so I have to get a new one. So, your handheld, I'm afraid, guys. This place is amazing. We've got any information about when it was built? This place would be amazing. Um, from a filming standpoint, it is accessible. It looks like there's a dirt track road up that way. That'll go up to 
um, near the entrance to Newstead Abbey, actually, because Newstead Abbey grounds is a kind of a mile and a bit that way over those fields. If I sent the drone up, you'd be able to see it. I'm not going to do that here because it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. Some kind of memorial here. This is beautiful. I'm going to get uh, permission from the from the reverend and things to take off and land on this site, and I'll try and get some um, aerials for you. I'll do him and do him and her an aerial anyway to help them out. Uh, that's two, 2008. What's this? That's 1963. It was way older than that. And you got other paths and things that way. Thick woods. There's a stream just there. So there's plenty of potential for stuff. If you're going for like the larger church type thing, as opposed to the little chapels I've seen so far, this could fit the bill, especially that doorway. That's amazing. Anyway, signing out. I like to move it, move it, bit, bit, bit.